God's Story. Balaam. So part of God's story is about a man named Balaam, and it goes like this. Balaam lived near a place called Moab, which was ruled by King Balak. King Balak was nervous because he had heard stories about God's special people, the Israelites, how God had freed them from slavery in Egypt, and how the Israelites had taken over nearby cities like Jericho. King Balak was afraid his kingdom, Moab, was next. So King Balak made a plan. One day, he sent a message to Balaam. Balaam was a sorcerer, which means his job was to bless or curse other people. We don't really know whether Balaam's blessings or curses actually worked, but the king believed they did. King Balak said, Put a curse on the people of Israel. Maybe I'll be able to win the battle over them. I know whoever you bless is blessed, and whoever you curse is cursed. Now, normally it was Balaam's job to do whatever the king said, but this time God spoke to Balaam. God said, you must not put a curse on those people. I have blessed them. This was the real reason Israel was winning battles and taking over cities. God was blessing and helping them. Anyway, Balaam sent a message back to the king that he would not curse Israel. Even when the king offered to give Balaam lots of money and power, Balaam said, You could give me all the silver and gold in the king's palace. Even then, I still couldn't do anything at all that goes beyond what the Lord my God commands. Well, when the king's men heard what Balaam said, they forced him to come with them. Balaam got on his donkey and set out to meet the king. Along the way, the donkey saw an angel standing in the road. So the donkey ran off the road, which confused Balaam. He hit the donkey to try to get him back on the road. But the donkey saw the angel again and ran into a wall, crushing Balaam's foot. Now Balaam was hurt and angry. He hit the donkey again. Then the donkey saw the angel a third time and laid down in the middle of the road. Balaam hit the donkey again but then God opened the donkey's mouth and it talked. It said to Balaam, What have I done to you? Why have you hit me three times? Kids, what would you think if an animal suddenly started talking to you? It might seem unbelievable, but anything is possible with God. And by the way, don't hit your pets. Anyway, Balaam said to his donkey, You have made me look foolish. The donkey answered, I'm your own donkey. I'm the one you've always ridden. Have I ever made you look foolish before? No, Balaam said. At that moment, Balaam finally saw the angel standing in the road, holding a sword, ready for battle. Balaam realized the angel had a message from God. Balaam bowed with his face to the ground and said, I have sinned. I didn't realize you were standing in the road to oppose me. The angel said, Go with the king's men, but only say what I tell you to say. So Balaam went on to meet King Balak. The king was mad that Balaam couldn't be persuaded by money or power. But Balaam said, I can only speak the words God puts in my mouth. And instead of cursing Israel, Balaam blessed them over and over and over, right in front of the king. Balaam blessed Israel seven times. God had gotten Balaam's attention by sending an angel and making a donkey talk. And now Balaam was listening and obeying God. Because of that, Balaam was able to bless others. And that's the story of Balaam. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Balaam was a sorcerer. The king wanted Balaam to curse Israel. Balaam said no. Balaam rode his donkey. The donkey saw an angel. Then Balaam saw the angel. Balaam obeyed God instead of the king. God used Balaam to bless others. And that's a part of God's story.